I'm Josh, and today we're going to teach you about the microplate reader and the uses and functions of the microplate reader in biochemistry and other chemistry courses. The objectives for this video are for you to be able to 1. Prepare a microplate 2. Operate the microplate reader for endpoint absorbances 3. Export data using class folders and 4. Use Microsoft Excel to analyze data. Before preparing the microplate, make sure you are wearing safety goggles and gloves. Be sure to practice safe laboratory techniques while conducting your experiment. In this video, we are creating a standard curve for the absorbance of a blue colored solution. To do this, you will want to dilute your stock solution to various concentrations. Our concentrations here are 0.25 molar, 0.5 molar, 0.75 molar, and 1 molar. You will also need a solution blank. In this case, our solution blank is water. Into each well, pipette 250 microliters of solution. Each solution should be performed in triplicate. For example, pipette 250 microliters of DI water into wells A1, A2, and A3. Into the next row, pipette 250 microliters of the 0.25 molar solution into wells B1, B2, and B3. Continue this pattern for each solution. Make sure you write down which wells correspond to each solution in your laboratory notebook and change the pipette tip between solutions. For a solution with an unknown concentration, pipette 250 microliter triplicates into a new row in the microplate. Make sure you write down the dilution factor of your unknown solution. Your standard curve will be used to determine the concentration of this solution. If your microplate contents need to be vortexed, cover the microplate with a clear film. Place the sticky side of the film down so the wells are sealed. Use the roller to firmly seal the film. Gently place the microplate on the vortex to mix the contents. Remove the film prior to measuring the absorbance with the microplate reader. After turning on the microplate reader and logging into the computer, connect the microplate reader to the computer. This button is located in the top left hand corner of the screen. Select the SpectroMax M2E button and click OK. The first button you clicked should now have a green check mark. Click the protocol manager, select either new protocol or an existing protocol for your specific lab. This is the resulting screen for a new protocol. Once here, you will want to open the microplate reader door. Do this by clicking the open slash close button. Place the purple metal plate holder located in the Ziploc bag on the top of the microplate reader onto the ejected microplate tray. Place the microplate containing your samples onto the plate holder. Make sure you position the microplate to match the orientation of the image on the computer screen. Next, click one of the two settings buttons. Click the absorbance and the endpoint buttons. Check your laboratory protocol to determine the correct wavelength of your sample's absorbance and change the absorbance appropriately. Click the plate area button. This allows you to select only the wells that you want analyzed. Click and drag the select plate area. Your wells will be highlighted in black. When you're all done changing the settings, click OK. When your samples are ready to go, click the green read button. To export your data, click the button in the top left hand corner. This button looks like a microplate. From the drop down menu, click export at the very bottom. Check the box of the plate that corresponds to your data. Make sure the plate button is selected. Select your class folder and the folder with your WSU username. Give your data an appropriate name and click save. So once you're all set, you will want to take off the microplate. And 
the holder. And then you will want to close under control and read status, you will want to close the door. That'll close it automatically. Remember, don't manually close the door ever on the microplate reader. And then you will just close out of the program. Before you leave the microplate reader, clean up your microplate. As long as your solutions are safe to pour down the drain, you can rinse out the plate with DI water in the sink. Otherwise, discard your solutions appropriately. To access the class folders on your laptop, go to My Computer and click Class Storage on the left-hand tab. This will bring you to a screen that has course codes which correspond to the classes you are taking. Open the folder in which you saved your data and you will be brought to a page where you will see your WSU username. Open that folder and find your file. Right-click on the file and open using Excel. Your Excel file should look something like this. The data will be identical to the format of your samples on the microplate. The first step is to average the data. Our averaged data is highlighted in yellow. The second step is to subtract the average absorbance of the blank, which in this case is DI water. For each average, also subtract the average absorbance of the blank from your solutions with the unknown concentration. This allows the background absorbance to be minimized from the data. The next step is to plot the concentrations of the solutions on the x-axis and their respective adjusted average absorbances along the y-axis. Make sure you only plot your solutions with known concentrations on your standard curve. Do not plot your blank absorbance or the absorbances of your solutions with unknown concentrations. Add a linear trend line to your graph. For a solution with unknown concentration, plug in the adjusted average absorbance for the Y term on your linear trend line. Using algebra, solve for X, which corresponds to your concentration of the unknown. The concentration of your unknown should fall within your standard curve. If the concentration exceeds the standard curve, you will need to dilute your sample. With the absorbance of your diluted sample, you will need to divide your resulting concentration by the dilution factor you used to obtain your actual concentration. Now you should be able to set up your microplate. Operate the microplate reader for endpoint absorbance, export your data using class folders, and analyze your data using Microsoft Excel. Have fun doing science.